Hi, this is Dr. Campbell. Today I wanted to talk about a principal who made a racial remark about black students. And what happened was the principal was outside somewhere with the children, and this was in the California middle school, and he was being, you know, they were talking to him and they had him on video. Now, they don't know if the uh, principal knew he was on video, but one of the students asked him, well, how do you like the kids here? And one student replied, you like all of us. And the, one of the school principals said, well, I really don't like the black kids. And so he made a racial remark. He's been uh, temporarily suspended since then. But teachers, this is going to have a monumental impact on your classroom in several areas. First of all, there could be a possibility of an increase in student fights. Some students are going to agree with the uh, school principal. Other students are going to disagree. When they have that clash of opinions, you could have a fight. Also, you're going to have difficulties in your classroom now with the black kids because they're going to associate your power in the classroom with the same power that this school principal had. So they're going to act out, which could mean an increase in discipline. Now, the problem with an increase in discipline is that we know now that that is the measure of racism in schools. Are the black kids being over disciplined by the white teachers? So, you know, you got to be aware of that as well. Also, stu teach, I mean, parents are not going to be happy. And anytime you try to delve out discipline, there may be some opposition from them. This is also going to impact student achievement. Because kids are going to, the black kids are going to come in your classroom and they're going to shut down. They're going to say, well, you know, here's this white teacher, you know, associated with this school principal or one of the school principals, and there must be a connection. And so this is what I recommend that you do. First of all, to protect yourself from any type of civil rights litigation or the implication thereof, I would use the Recelerate Racism Formula. And that will tell you if you're disciplining them too much according to their standards or not. And then I would use this process for the kids who act out. The first time they act out, I would have a discussion in front of the entire classroom about the expectations for behavior, and I would call the parent. Now, when you call the parent, in the conversation we're talking about how the discipline is going to impact their academics don't just focus on the discipline because the parents you know they already think that there's something wrong with you and they don't want to hear that the next time this same child acts out of course you have the discussion in front of the classroom but this time give them a choice say well do you want me to send you to the counselor or do you want me to send you to one of the school principals? I would then say, I'm going to send you to the counselor. Because now you have another adult who's documenting what's going on. Also, if they're hanging, having anger issues, the counselor is probably the one you want to deal with at first, rather than one of the school principals. And also, of course, contact the parent. Then the next time that they act out, I would have that discussion again in front of the class because when you have that discussion in front of the class you're having that discussion for the rest of them and then this time I would say you want to go to the counselor or do you want to go to the school principal now more than likely they're going to say I want to go to the counselor because there's no consequences but then what you say is you say well last time I sent you to the counselor and I gave you a break this time I'm going to send you to the school principal and of course you want to contact the parent. This is how I would uh, in, include, involve this process because of the racial remark. It's going to have added tension in your classroom. This is Dr. Campbell. You can read more about it on my blog at www.positiveracialrelationships.com. If you want to talk about it, you can call me on my direct line at 856-566-3267. Have a great day. And thank you very much.